Okay, in these series of videos, I'm going to show you how to uh, use R, and this is going to be very basic. There are, there are a lot of tutorials out there to teach you all the details about using R, and it's very powerful uh, for doing statistics, uh, making graphs, analyzing your data. Um, the thing I want to do in this video is just help you get over that first hurdle. Um, when you first look at R, it can be kind of scary and intimidating. So um, this is basically uh, a very, very simple video for people who might be using Excel and want to give R a try. So first of all, you're going to have to install it, and that's what I'll talk about in this first one. If you uh, To install R, search for R statistics in Google. Um, then uh, come up here. It works on Windows and Mac. To download it, you have to choose where you are in the world, uh, so it'll be close. And, um, like I said, it works for Mac and Windows. If you're using a Mac, click on that. You'll find the uh, package here, and then you can download it like that. If you're doing it on Windows, click on Windows, and up at the top, it says Base Install R for the first time. Click on that, and then here, Install Download R for Windows, and save it on your Windows computer. And then R Studio, search for R Studio in uh, Google, and right here's the download. And then here's the installers. Here's one for Windows, and here's one for Mac. Okay, so now let's start by opening um, R. And you'll see that uh, R looks like this. And um, it's pretty simple. This is called the console. The console, you basically enter commands into um, uh, this space here. And uh, the commands can be mathematical things, like I can say uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, or I can do it without a space. R doesn't care about spaces. You know, 5 minus 3, um, 9 divided by 4, okay, whatever we like, 3 times 7, okay. We can also um, make variables in R. For example, I can say x equals 3. And then if I type x, it says it's 3. I can also um, use this arrow operator to do the same thing. I can make x 4 now. Okay. Um, y equals 3 plus, um, I don't know, 15. Okay. And uh, what's y? y is 18. Okay, I can also do like um, x, whoops, x plus y. Okay, I can do z equals x times y. Um, let's put parentheses around this. Um, x times y um, plus uh, 21. Okay, and what's z? z is 93. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to show you R Studio. When you start up R Studio, you get a bigger window, and uh, there's more things going on here. And I find that this is basically this is the same thing. This is R right here. This is the same console. Um, it's colored blue because I, I changed the uh, the pattern of it. Um, yours is probably going to be white, but it'll still be the same. I can do the same things. Uh, three plus two is five. Okay, x equals three plus two. What's x? x is 5. But you notice one thing that I like about R Studio here that makes it a little different is now over here I have um, a list of variables. So now it's telling me that x is equal to 5. Okay, if I make y equal to 9, now y is over there. So if I come over in the console and type uh, x plus y, I get 14. And I can save that. Um, Let's do x times y now, okay? And there it is. Over, over here, it says uh, z is 45, and of course, if I type it in, I'm going to get 45. 